Okay, so this parenting question was sent to me recently, and the question was this, why do I have to repeat myself so many times? Why do I have to repeat myself so many times? It's so frustrating, right, to have to repeat yourself so many times. I mean, I'm with you there. If you feel frustrated with having to repeat yourself a lot to your kids, put put like a one in the in the chat there because I, I that's how I feel. It's definitely very frustrating to have to repeat yourself a million times. So I'm going to talk about this question right here in just a, a minute, and I'm going to talk about how to deal with it. First, I just want to let you know who I am. I'm Hunter Clark Fields, Mindful Mama Mentor. I help smart, thoughtful parents stay calm and create strong, connected relationships with their kids that last, that last a lifetime. And I'm the author of, I got it here, Raising Good Humans, A Mindful Guide to Breaking the Cycle of Reactive Parenting and Raising Kind, Confident Kids. And I'm the creator of the Mindful Parenting Membership, where we have over 400 families, <laughs> where we have over 400 families who are around the world who are working together to transform generational patterns. So, okay. You do you have to repeat yourself a lot? Yes. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Me too. Uh, my the question was like I want to be able to just say something once, and the truth is that you have to adjust your expectations as a parent. The truth is that kids' brains are underdeveloped, but honestly, all of us. Every single one of us need to hear something many different times to learn it, right? No one hears something the first time and is like, okay, got it, thanks, going away now, right? Even adults need to hear things many times and kids are learning and their brains are growing and they don't even have the fully developed brains that we have. So you have to adjust your expectations. You are not going to just have be able to say something once and your kids are like, automatic robots, obedience robots who are like, yes, mother, I will go do that thing. No, they have to sit, learn things again and again and again. So here's the thing though. If they are going to have to hear you say something and learn something again and again and again, what is the kind of language that they are learning? What is the kind of language that they are learning? For most of us and for most kids, that language is orders and threats. Go do this, pick that up, put on your shoes, ba 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 ba. So we're using this language of orders and threats. We tend to talk to kids in this kind of like pretty rude way all the time. Like imagine if you, you know, just barked an order at your mom, right? You wouldn't say mom do this, right? Like, oh, well, maybe you would. You might have that kind of relationship with your mom. But the thing is, we are going to have to repeat ourselves again and again and again as parents. And what happens with our language is that kids are are not learning from, they're, they're learning from you, they're modeling from you. So you have to speak to them in the way that you are expecting them to speak to you. If you want respectful language, you have to give respectful language. If you want your kids not to yell at you, you have to not yell at them to be quiet, right? Like that doesn't make any sense. So we all need to hear things many times to learn, kids especially. And I want you to ask yourself this question, are your kids hearing skillful things? Are they hearing the kind of language that you want sent back to you. And we, we have three big communication modules that we work on this with in Mindful Parenting. There we talk about how to, how to speak to our kids to create less resistance, because there's a whole art and science to this. There's research behind this, right? Um, but if you're repeating those old patterns of your parents using you know, like yelling and threats and barking orders, you know, your kids are going to be resistant to you. So you, we're not going to be able to say something only once. 
You have to adjust your expectations on that. Nobody learns something once the first time and that's just part of being human and that's okay. We all need things to learn, to hear things many times to learn, but what are your kids learning from you? All right, so I'm gonna leave you with that today. And if you want to take this further, you can um, he head over to mindfulmamamentor.com slash stop yelling. And there I've got, a, I've got a five minute video for you with my top two best tools to stop yelling and the six step mindful parenting roadmap. And this is what really pertains to this discussion today is the roadmap because we talk about what it takes to get to that place where you're doing that inside out transformation and transforming your language on the outside too. So head over to mindfulmamamentor.com, get that mindful parenting, six step mindful parenting roadmap. It's all totally for free, you can head there now. And I'd love to hear what are your takeaways from this. If this is helpful, share it with others, that's totally fine. And uh, for, for anybody who's wondering, why do I have to repeat myself so much? Like, yes, yes you do. <laughs> um, and I'm wishing you a beautiful day. Uh, so let's take a deep breath in together. And a long, slow exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.